So thank you for coming for your reading. I want to let you know that spirit has created for you your energetic blueprints. You have a special loved one who wants to step forward with you and for you. You have a grandfather on dad's side. Mm -hmm. Has dad's dad crossed over. Yes. And he says that he surrounds your essence, which is who you are, with strength, with wisdom, and with desire. So when you feel times where you're feeling like, I just can't do this, or I'm overwhelmed, or I just need some help, his soul comes in and he says, it's okay, you'll be fine. So he's bringing that forward to you. Do you ever have those moments where you just feel like, <gasps> and you get that relief of like, all the time, okay. <laughs> all the time. I feel like I'm not doing something right, so that, that, that stresses me out a lot. It gives me anxiety and release when the anxiety's finally gone, is just knowing that there's somebody there that's with me and then I'm not going through it alone. Grandfather steps forward, he makes mention of moving or changing direction in your life and your focus. So are you thinking of moving or having any type of career changes? Yeah. You are? Yes. <laughs> okay, so he's validating that. I'm going to school to be um, a counselor for mental health and addictions. So I want to work with people and I want to help people. Um, he says that you need to have a life partner. So are you currently with anyone in a relationship? Kind of, on and off. Okay. So he's referencing the type of male that would be very good for you as a good match is someone who can handle your candidness and to also understand your spunk and your free-spirited energy. That's actually funny. My, um, my best friend's living with me right now and that's, that's pretty much it. If you can find even friendships that are reflecting that, mm. then anyone that you've um, had a romantic relationship with that wasn't good for you, that you're going to be shifting that energy into people who really understand you, that don't want to pin you down or change you. You know, I always find myself running back to the same type of people that always, they want to change me. They want to change me and they want me to stay in one place always and just restrict you from everything. And so if your um, roommate and friend is this, I'm not saying it's going to be him in a relationship, yeah, you no. need people like that yeah. who, just, who just want you to be who you are. Yeah. It just means that I need to stop allowing people to change who I am for who they want me to be. In terms of career and focus, so this is what grandfather's also bringing up, you're meant to surround yourself by people and to not ever lock yourself up in a cubicle is what they were saying. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't need time for yourself, but you have to be engaged with people in yeah. sort of like customer service. I could never work in like a cubicle um, my whole adult life. Like I've worked in bars, I've been a bartender. Um, hairdresser. Uh, Spirit says here you excel at customer service. You would make a great radio or television host. So <laughs> cameras that are around you if that's possible um, because your name's written in the stars. That's the Midas touch. So he's referencing the fact that your name needs to be seen, that you need to be heard and you need to be authentic to who you are. So if that's a direction that you are, even social media, so having more followers yes. uh, and people uh, interested in what is it you're doing, that's also very important for you. I like to be the center of attention. I, <laughs> I need that. I need that for myself. To, I, that, that's how I, I feel that I'm doing something right. He placed you in a Wild West movie. That was the setting that he had you. So there's a symbolic <laughs> reference to you. What he's saying is no matter what you come up against, it was like the draw. Right? The, the Wild West draw. He's like, no matter what or who you come up against, you're going to win. You're going to be okay. Does that, does that make sense to you? Yeah, that's funny. I have, I have gun tattoos on my hips. Oh my goodness, you do? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's incredible. So my grandfather, I guess, um, I, was, I was a child. He always would read um, these old Western books. And on top of that, my grandparents used to sell antiques. So we would always have these old guns lying around the house. His old Western guns, and I, uh, he made a reference to something about um, like pulling guns out and like shooting. So it's funny. I, I have tattoos on my hips of of guns. He also says that there is a wild side to you. Let's just say that you're full of playfulness and imagination, is what he said. He's like, we're going to leave it at that. So, okay. Well, right. I'm so glad that my grandfather came out <laughs> to say that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, there are things where we're like, you just don't need to see everything, and they do. Oh, great. And then we just tune it out, and we say thank you. So he leaves your reading, and he gives you a theme song. So this is something that comes through for people at times. It is Cups by Anna Kendrick. When you hear the words, you're going to miss me when I'm gone, it's like, for those of you who ever tried to hold me back or whoever didn't see my light, 
I'm moving on. And I'm okay because I'm strong and I'm independent and you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're leaving that legacy is what he's saying, so. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. It was inspiring, it really was. And it did kind of makes you feel like you know, you're doing things right and not always second guessing yourself and that you know everything will work out eventually. <laughs>